I'm back again and this time with a tutorial how to change a white t-shirt into any color you want and this of course applies to any other object as well it doesn't have to be a t-shirt but in my case it was a t-shirt because simply a client asked for it he had like a specific color or a specific range of colors that they wanted this t-shirt to be and uh, um, they asked me like what would be the right approach and I had a look online I couldn't really find anything so I decided to make my own tutorial um, so let's just start, right? That's the easiest way to find out. So what I'll do first is I'll uh, make a selection of this t-shirt. Obviously, when you're working on a, a project for a client, you want to make a very precise um, selection. But I think for this uh, tutorial, this would just do fine. Uh, what I'll do next is I'll hit Command or Control J to make a duplicate. So now we just have the t-shirt layer on its own. Uh, I'll just name this t-shirt. Um, or white t-shirt in my case t-shirt and um, from uh, the next step will be to uh, put more uh, color in there actually there is some color in there actually the, the white is not pure white it's not 100% white um, and that's a good thing because 100% white you could not change the color of uh, it's simply too bright there's no color of your information in there and as you can tell this is a white t-shirt but it's not like plain white there's actually still some color information in there and in order to make it more bright or more dark I want to introduce more uh, of a mid-tone in here. So how I'll do that, I will just hold Alt and I'll go to Curves. And I will select this box so it only affects the t-shirt. And what I'll do is, uh, these are the highlights. To, to, to the far right, it's the whitest white. So I'll drag this down. And then these are the mid-tones, I'll drag those down as well. And um, also, as you can tell, uh, towards this point, which is the darkest point, uh, it goes down as well, so the shadows also became a little bit more dark. So actually I introduced um, a little bit more of a uh, gray tone in there. So now it's kind of like a mid-gray t-shirt and that's actually perfect to work uh, from. So I'll also do, do now, I'll select these two uh, top layers, I'll merge them. And so now this will be my t-shirt. And um, from uh, here on we can just uh, start giving a different color. So say your client chose this specific color that they wanted, they gave you like a color code or whatever and they want it to be that exact color and in my case I just choose this blue but you can choose whatever you want so how you would do uh, that uh, you would select the t-shirt layer you will hit alt you go to the drop down menu down here and you create a gradient map and uh, you select the box again just so it affects the t-shirt and what it did now it applied this blue to the lightest color in this case uh, on the far right here it would be the whites and to the left it applied this gray and this is not what we want. Actually, we want this blue, which is the correct blue, to be the mid-tone blue. And since the mid-tones, um, we don't really have any highlights, so I'll just put a little um, to the right of the center. Uh, and then this one would be the shadow, right? So I'll move it down. I'll make it a dark blue. I find it works best with a, a dark blue, although you could drop it all the way to black and it would just look fine as well. It just doesn't look as realistic, in my opinion. Um, but this is more a matter of taste, I guess, and uh, you could play around until it looks good to you. But the main issue is, uh, and let me introduce uh, the highlights as well. And this could just be white, because normally, you know, um, white is the highlight. So the, I think this looks pretty okay already. Um, and as you can tell, the highlights are more to this uh, area of the t-shirt. This will be the highlight, this will be the mid-tone. And the mid-tone is what we're looking for. So now I'll just drag this blue... Um, square onto the mid-tone, so these would be the mid-tones. You can see it blends in pretty well. So um, in order to adjust it, you could just go back to this gradient slider here and um, maybe move it over if you feel like uh, it should be adjusted a little bit more. So maybe it could be a little darker, no, it's too dark already. And maybe a little bit lighter. And yeah, this is kind of where it starts to blend. Um, if your client still thinks the t-shirt looks too uh, light, which I can imagine, then uh, you could choose that maybe this part is uh, the highlight uh, area because use, or the mid-tone area. Usually the highlights really are the highlights and we don't really have any. Maybe here on this uh, little uh, part where the two uh, pieces of fabric connect, but that's about it. So let's say this is the mid-tone and we'll go back and move the slider over um, until it blends. And I think, see, this is about where it blends. Uh, yeah, so you can see it still here is a little lighter. So this would be considered a highlight. So now actually this t-shirt is that kind of blue that we want. 
Um, now this also works for uh, in order to make it white or black again. So I'll just go uh, do the same thing. Uh, go down here and create a gradient map. Uh, just in this case, of course, when it's white, you have to make sure that well, basically everything is white or close to white. So the shadows will be lighter since it's a white t-shirt. The midtones, which we uh, determined were not all the way to the right, and that's going to be pretty close to white. And then the highlights will be just white. And um, of course, the the color of the white or the midtones determines like how it feels. So now I chose this bluish, so it looks more like bright white, you could also choose more yellow and choose it's a little more warm white, but still all over, all over it's just white. And um, the same thing goes for black. So we do the exact same thing, hold Alt, go to the gradient map. And um, now we're going to introduce a lot of black. Um, so what I'll do is for this one, I'll create a pure black because this is, this is going to be a black t-shirt, you know, the, it, the shadows couldn't be any darker than the midtones. Um, going to be almost black, right? Pretty close to black, and the highlights uh, are going to be white. Um, let's see, it's white. Yeah, there we go. So I think this is too black, maybe. Uh, so let's move it over to the left. Uh, this way, you look more shiny. Um, and this is pretty close to black. So. As you can tell, you can introduce a lot of colors. Uh, you can make them any color you want. Um, you can make it very color specific, but uh, from there on, it's just tweaking however you want it. So I hope you learned something today. Uh, you can apply this to any object. Uh, have fun. If you have any questions, drop me a line. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.